March of this year, I created a video on one of the most enigmatic species in the Homo genus, Homo naledi, a species that doesn't really fit in the human evolutionary timeline, a species with a mosaic of features and many mysteries surrounding it. This is actually only one of the in total four new discoveries that Dr. Lee Berger has announced on his Twitter. We have three more discoveries coming to us in the near future, so stay tuned for that. I would also like to quickly mention that this video is kindly sponsored by History Hit, but as always, more on the sponsor later in the video. So my name is Kaylee, and in this video I will tell you all about the latest discovery that Homo naledi controlled fire. First, a quick recap of the species of Homo naledi. This species was first discovered in 2013 in the Rising Star Cave system in South Africa, when two cavers entered an unexplored chamber through a very tight passage. Homo naledi is a species in the Homo genus, with a chimpanzee-like skull and a mosaic of features in its morphology, some archaic and some quite modern. They were an average of 144 centimeters tall and weighed around 40 kilograms. That's tiny. One of the most enigmatic things about this species is that they intentionally buried their dead deep inside a cave system while only having a small brain. When I say small brain, I mean that their brain size was only one third of our brain size. Truly, really, really small. <laughs> But before I go into the latest news on the enigmatic species of Homo naledi, I would like to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, History Hit. Immerse yourself into new historical topics through History Hit. History Hit brings you the stories that shaped the world through their award-winning podcast network and online history channel. It's just like Netflix, but all history. Watch hundreds of hours of original history documentaries with expert historians such as Dan Snow, Professor Suzanne Lipscomb, Dan Jones, and more. Enjoy their amazing content anytime and anywhere on any device with two new documentaries uploaded every week, plus 19 episodes across eight podcasts, which includes the world's leading history podcast, Dan Snow's History Hits. Subscribe and enjoy exclusive access to their library packed with history documentaries and watch their fantastic documentary Mysteries of Prehistoric Scotland, Stone Age Orkney, showing a remarkable story of a monumental architecture constructed thousands of years ago. These incredible discoveries reveal who these ancient people were, how they lived and how they interacted with the prehistoric world. So click the link in the description down below and get a special discount. The code HISTORYHIT will provide 60% off of the first six months of your subscription. This generous discount means that you can subscribe to History Hit for under $3 per month. And now back to Homo naledi and the latest news surrounding this species of ancient humans. So in the past nearly 10 years since Homo naledi was first discovered, um, only 47 people who were very small and slightly built had been able to squeeze themselves into the Dina Lady chamber, where this species was first discovered. And as you can imagine, someone with a big stature like Dr. Lee Berger wasn't able to squeeze himself into this Dina Lady chamber as he's standing at 188 centimeters tall. <laughs> But he wasn't going to miss out on the chance of seeing these chambers inside the cave for himself. So after losing 25 kilograms, which equates to 55 pounds, he managed to get himself into the Dina Lady Chamber in August of this year. And he finally had the chance to look at the inside of the chamber himself. While he was in the chamber, he actually noticed that the ceiling was not pure calcium carbonate, but that there was a level of burnt blackened soot. A very important thing to note, I think, is the fact that Dr. Lee Berger has been by far the largest person ever to squeeze himself inside the cave and its chambers. He even said that there was a possibility at some points he might have not been able to squeeze himself out again. That's crazy. We have a baby here who's a naughty boy. So everyone tell Boris that he's a naughty boy. Thank you. He's a very naughty boy. 
As I mentioned in my quick overview video about the species back in March, they probably had fire to navigate their way inside the cave. It's a very dark and narrow cave system. But back then, in March, this was only a theory. It wasn't proven yet, although all evidence pointed to it. So now we finally have this piece of evidence. Homo naledi indeed used fire to navigate their way inside the cave, and that's not all. They even created hearths inside the cave. While Dr. Lee Berger was inside the Dinaledi chamber, looking at the burned and blackened ceiling, his colleague Kenelu Molopian discovered a hearth in a space of the cave known as the Dragonback. So this hearth was quite small, with some burnt animal bones, and there was a bigger hearth next to it, some 15 centimeters below the cave floor with burnt and blackened animal bones. They realized that this was a significant find, that they needed to reinvestigate the rest of the cave where they had previously looked, and they needed to look for signs for the use of a fire and other ways that Homo lady may have navigated the tunnels in the cave. Of course, there was a possibility that Homo sapiens may have been the ones that created these hearths near the Dina Lady chamber, in the areas where they were able to squeeze themselves in. So the team actually went back to the Lacedi chamber. This is the area where the skeleton of Neo was found, like nearly complete skeleton. In this area of the cave, there have never been traces found of Homo sapiens. It's because it's even more narrow and, you know, Homo sapiens couldn't generally fit in there. So in these deepest parts of the cave, the team discovered burnt rocks with ashes at the bottom. And even further inside the cave system, they discovered the burnt bones of small animals. But what's even more fascinating is that the research team still hadn't discovered any signs of stone tools anywhere near the hearths inside the cave. How do you make fire without the stone tools? Of course, this is very, very odd because stone tools are usually needed for the creation of fire. But at the same time, fire doesn't spontaneously start some 250 meters inside a wet cave system and animals don't really walk into these fires to get burned. You'd think. <laughs> at least you'd think. However, stone tools have been found outside of the cave, so the fires could have been started outside of the cave and brought inside by Homo and lady, and then used to light up the hearths inside. It's a possibility. The dating of the chart remains that the research team discovered inside the cave hasn't been finalized yet, and the decision to announce the discovery of this fire evidence inside the cave on December 1st was actually quite controversial as the official publication of the, you know, formal scientific analysis is still underway. So Chris Stringer from the Natural History Museum in London says that it's impossible to evaluate Dr. Lee Berger's claims properly without seeing the full evidence, and that with all due respect to Lee and his team for a series of great finds, this is not the way to conduct science or progress scientific debate about potentially very important discoveries. He wasn't really happy, unfortunately. And of course I understand what Chris Stringer is saying here, it is always best to be cautious and wait until the official publication of a scientific analysis before making an announcement. But at the same time, I very, very much understand the excitement of Dr. Lee Berger, um, the excitement that he must have felt, a discovery that made him want to scream at the top of his lungs, so to speak. He wanted to share it with the world as soon as possible. So while there is excitement surrounding this discovery, at the same time there's also skepticism, which is natural when the official publication hasn't come out yet. Dr. Lee Berger has also teased everyone on Twitter announcing that there will be a series of major discoveries coming out over the next months. Three discoveries even bigger than this fire discovery, and I honestly cannot wait to see what he will reveal to us all. I am beyond stoked. But at the same time, I will not be speaking for Dr. Lee Berger here on my channel. 
What I will do, however, is try and set up an interview in the future to ask him directly about his experiences inside the cave, his research when it comes to Home on a Lady, and the entire Rising Star cave system. So if you are interested in seeing that, then let me know in the comments down below and make sure to keep an eye out on my channel for that video in the future and maybe tweet at me and Dr. Lee Berger that you want to see an interview like that. But before I end the video, I would like to remind you to click the link in the description down below and get a special discount. The code history hit will provide 60% off of the first six months of your subscription. This generous discount means that you can subscribe to History Hit for less than $3 a month. But with that said, if you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, and click that bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner, or click one of the links in the description down below, or click a video in the end card whatever feels good to you, you know? I would like to say a massive, massive thank you to all my patrons and my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me and being here with me on this journey to figure out where we come from as a species. And I know that recently I've been focusing a lot on ancient apocalypse, but that's not the main focus of this channel. Videos like these are. And I would like to wish all of you a happy new year. Bye guys.